Earthly research into distant galactic worlds is always subject to one central question. Are the alien celestial bodies possibly habitable? Although experts have now succeeded in identifying more than 4,900 exoplanets in more than 3,600 systems, there is still no trace of an actual twin of Earth. This makes the news that hit the headlines a few years ago all the more exciting. NASA employees had managed to add no fewer than seven Earth-sized exoplanets to the star charts. Find out what these exciting celestial bodies are all about in detail and what science says regarding their potential habitability in today's video. Interested in learning more about the breathtaking discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay updated from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you'll be showing us that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our posts. Seven Strange Worlds about five years ago, more precisely on February 22, 2017, NASA announced another thrilling find in the gigantic expanses of the universe. According to the report, the staff of the renowned space agency had successfully managed to track down the fascinating planetary system around the red dwarf star TRAPPIST-1. What made this intriguing discovery so special was the fact that the seven celestial bodies identified were exoplanets about the size of Earth. As is so often the case, the scientists asked themselves in the course of this galactic discovery, is one of these alien worlds possibly habitable? And even more, was life possibly already able to develop there? Five years after the first discovery, it is certain, we still don't know for sure. This does not mean that our knowledge of extrasolar planets has not increased in recent years. We now know that the objects 41 light years away from us are rocky planets that are possibly twice as old as our solar system. In order to answer the unanswered questions about this exciting planetary system, experts are now eagerly awaiting the upcoming research mission of the James Webb Space Telescope. Larger and more powerful than any space telescope of the past, Webb's primary objective will be to study the atmospheres of exoplanets. The experts are particularly excited about the investigation of the fourth innermost planet, which has the scientific designation TRAPPIST-1e. The background? This celestial body is located exactly in the middle of the region that is called the habitable zone in the astronomical research world. If you'll recall, the habitable zone is the distance between a planet and its central star that enables water to exist in a permanently liquid form. As we all know, Liquid water is an elementary prerequisite for the development of Earth-like life. Compared to the constellations in our home solar system, the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system draw their orbits much closer around their central host star. In fact, the orbits of the exoplanets would all fit within the orbit of our innermost planet, Mercury. However, this does not detract from the potential habitability of the celestial bodies. The corresponding red dwarf star is not only significantly cooler than our Sun, but also significantly smaller. Exploring the Atmosphere the spatial position of a planet within the habitable zone is an important clue in the search for alien, life-friendly celestial bodies. But it's by no means the only criterion that needs to be examined in this regard. The basic rule is that for a planet to be classified as potentially habitable, it must also have a suitable atmosphere. Although the Hubble Space Telescope was not able to fully decipher the atmospheres of the TRAPPIST-1 planets, the measurements made nevertheless provided some exciting insights. For example, Hubble was able to determine that at least three of the extrasolar planets, representatives D, E, and F, do not have the bloated atmospheres characterized by large hydrogen accumulations of gas giants such as Uranus and Neptune, a piece of information that was extremely well-received among the experts. For indeed, those planets, where such natural conditions prevail, are considered rather unsuitable for harboring life. The data collected so far also leave open another, no less promising possibility. According to this, it is theoretically conceivable that the atmospheres could allow the existence of permanently liquid water on the surface. However, experts are hoping for one thing above all from the upcoming deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope, the detection of carbon dioxide. Its presence is also indispensable for life on Earth. If CO2 were completely eliminated from the atmosphere, our Earth would be a dead celestial body. Further Indications 
but the sizes of the detected celestial bodies can also provide an important clue regarding their potential habitability. As already mentioned, the dimensions of the exoplanets are comparable with the dimensions of our Earth. This refers not only to the diameter, but also to the mass of the respective extrasolar worlds. Calculating the planet masses was possible for the researchers by dint of the spatial constellation of the celestial bodies. Since the individual planets move closer together around their parent star, the scientists were able to determine their probable masses with the help of recorded gravitational effects. Finally, using the information regarding mass and radius, the experts also gained insight into the density of the planets. These indicate that they are solid rock planets. To investigate the possible formation and evolution of the planet's atmospheres, the experts use computer-based models. Researchers can take into account a wide variety of hypothetical factors and refine the corresponding computer models in both directions, regardless of whether the members of the TRAPPIST-1 system are hostile rocky deserts or habitable worlds. Tatooine Planet where a popular science fiction saga meets the reality of the cosmos stands the study of the exoplanet Kepler-16b. Just like Luke Skywalker's fictional home world, this celestial body, 245 light years away from us, orbits not just one star, but two. Now, researchers have reached another milestone in their in-depth investigation. For the first time, scientists have succeeded in detecting the double star planet with an Earth-based telescope. If we turn back the wheel of time by a few decades, we end up in an era when the actual existence of such double star planets was still hotly disputed. Typically, planets form in the protoplanetary disk of their host star. There, where not only one, but two or more of these glistening bright celestial bodies cavort, serious gravitational disturbances of this gas and dust accretion occur. At least this is the idea from the past, a persistent thesis ultimately disproved by the universe itself. About 11 years ago, experts succeeded for the first time in identifying an exoplanet, Kepler-16b, which orbits around two host stars. Since then, the number of circumbinary planets has grown considerably. Some of the detected celestial bodies even orbit three parent stars. Like most other exoplanets, the double star planets discovered so far have been identified using the transit method. In this detection method, the actual planet is not observed directly. Rather, the changes in brightness caused by the celestial body as it orbits its parent star are recorded. However, our terrestrial point of view on this galactic search for traces is also tantamount to a certain limitation. Consequently, we can observe the changes in the brightness of the host star only in those cases in which the planets pass directly in front of their star as seen from us. More accurate is the so-called radial velocity method. This method is based on the fact that a planet and a star orbit a common center of mass. As a result, especially massive exoplanets have a detectable influence on the motion of their parent stars. Using this method, scientists can thus not only determine the mass of an extrasolar celestial body, but also do not have to rely on the apparent orientation of the planet's orbit. For a long time, it was not possible for experts to study a binary star planet using the radial velocity method until now. In fact, they have now succeeded in doing just that in the case of Kepler-16b. A groundbreaking detection this exciting research project was made possible by the use of the spectrograph at Haute Province in France. In the course of detailed analyses, experts were able to detect the marginal effects of the exoplanet on its two host stars. This presented itself as a kind of tiny wobble in the orbital motions. Although often referred to as the Tatooine planet, Kepler-16b and Skywalker's homeworld share no other similarities except for their two suns. The real celestial body is not a scorching hot desert world, but probably a cold gas giant with 0.33 Jupiter masses. The first detection of a circumbinary planet by means of radial velocity gives the experts hope that they will be able to identify other such multiple systems in the future. Future research could then also address the question of how such planets manage to form despite the gravitational turbulence in their binary systems. Current theories suggest that planets may initially form farther away from their stars and only later become captured by them. But perhaps future research findings will give us reason to completely rethink the previously known planet formation mechanisms. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on the exciting planets around TRAPPIST-1? And did you know that binary star planets actually exist? Write us your thoughts 
your suggestions, and your feedback to today's contribution in the comments. Would you like to see more interesting videos about space? Then take a look at the other contributions on our channel, which we have linked for you here in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.